Yeah, obviously. Um, it was rough, you know. We were really disappointed with our uh, performance last week, especially with the footy. And uh, you know, the boys come out with a really good attitude tonight, I thought, and uh, you know, competed real well. And um, again, we got off to a great start, but you know, then obviously, the, you know, the Broncos. It was a bit of an arm wrestle there for a bit. So um, yeah, like I said, I couldn't fault their attitude and you know, their uh, their effort was tremendous. So um, yeah, really happy with that performance. That intense fast start. Where did that come from? Was that just Oh yeah, we sort of obviously, as I said, you know, after a performance like last week, um, there was a couple of things that things that needed to change, and um, you know, obviously, sometimes that's mentality, but you got to turn that into actions. And um, like I say, the, the start, I suppose, was uh, you know, if you talk about Jess's try, you don't see too many of them too often, you know. But obviously, you know, our defence was pretty good early, and that set the stage for you know some of our try line defence. Tonight was, you know, was outstanding. You know, this couple of real close shaves there. You know, save tries. So, um, like I say, when you're doing that, you know, you've got a good attitude to defence and you're competing hard. You scored 60 your own in the end, but was it the fact that you stopped so many? That might sort of cut the team pretty quick when they can't score. Sort of get some thinking about other things that can help you in the team. Yeah, I think that you know it could cause a bit of frustration when you get that close and you just can't get it over the line. You know, I know. That that's happened to us a few times, you know, over the years, and um, um, you know they probably did get a little bit frustrated because you know they probably played good enough footy to to get out of the try line, but just some last last ditch defence, you know, will save it for us. So I think frustration is the main thing when uh, that happens to you a couple of times. You know. Inches was responsible for some of that last ditch yeah. defence. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, I thought he was much improved on it. You know, it's uh, it, it, and it's not easy when. Uh, you know, he had played with us for a couple of years and all of a sudden, you know, you get thrown in and so uh, he's been, you know, probably slowly but surely getting better each week but um, certainly uh, he was, that was his best game by a mile tonight and, um, you know, hopefully uh, he can, can uh, keep, you know, getting used to the, the other players and, and keep improving. Ken, did you say anything to the guys about last week and before the game tonight or during the week of training at all, given you weren't there and what your expectations were for tonight? Um... <clears throat> I just had a quick chat to him yesterday, Russ and the captain's um, run just at the end and just, you know, I think we're all disappointed with losing two consecutive matches, um, you know, particularly the one against the Tigers, that was very unlike our club, you know, the way we played and the way we responded to, um, you know, some things that went against us, you know, when they scored tries, we were looking for easy options, but... It was more about just forgetting what had happened in the last couple of weeks. You know, we we played one up in the Gold Coast where you know we're pretty unlucky not to win the win the match without our Origin players. And then you know, obviously last week, um, you know, as I said, wasn't like us. But I just wanted to change an attitude from the boys. You know, we just wanted to be more positive and, and play with a lot of energy early, and, and that's what we did. You know, we knew we had to start really well against these blokes. They've uh, results really haven't gone their way this year, but I think they've been. Um, They've been well in a lot of their games. Um, you know, they're, they're a great footy side. They've got some wonderful players, and, and if you give them a, a small opportunity, then you know, they're going to take it. So we needed to start well, and we did that. So. Up close, you see Jesse particularly. I mean, giving him the ball as much as you do. His intensity, just his vigilance, is strong word. But over the last eighteen months, he, he just wants the ball. He wants when he makes a mistake, he wants it back. He wants to rectify. He's, Incredibly important to this team. Yeah, he is, um, you know, as are all the other boys in, in the side. But um, <clears throat> I think he, he realises his position in the team now and that you know, he's a starting front rower and we need our starting front rowers to want the ball in their hands and you know, want to get the team on the front foot. And um, For some reason, he, he probably didn't realise the size that he had and the skill that he had when he first started. You know, I think it takes a little bit of... Um, <laughs> Had a little bit of time on the park in first grade to realise that, particularly in the in the position he plays. You know, it's 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 the toughest position on the field to play up front, and you run into brick walls all the time. But um, you know, he's got the confidence now to, to call the, for the football. And as you said, mate, when when if something doesn't go right for him, he, he wants to make up with that. And um, you know, he's been playing really well for us um, over the last couple of seasons, and um, he can only get better, I think. Craig. Hockey broke through the 20,000 metre barrier for the club tonight. He's pretty important to the team as well. He just keeps delivering, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm probably 
haven't heard that stat before, but um, they are, you know, we all know uh, sort of the guy who's around the club and, you know, the player, he's just ultra consistent, you know. He's, um, yeah, like I so said, everyone knows how important he is to our club, you know, especially our players, you know. Um, they all love playing with him and, you know. Not too many guys in his position, you know, play 80 minutes, you know, week in, week out, and that's what he does for us. And, uh, yeah, like I say, it's, uh, to get that, I'm not quite sure, do they give him a trophy or, a, or whatever for going, what was it? So that's 20,000 20, He'll love the start anyway. Yeah, it's <laughs> He'll love that. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. He yeah. might get a little sign put up on his locker <laughs> for him. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, like I say, but, um, you know, the good thing about off about those 20,000 metres, a lot of those are real tough metres. You know, he's probably our best tough yardage runner in, in, in our team, you know, and he has been for years, and uh, like I say, so um, I suppose a lot of other guys have gone 20,000 metres, but uh, I don't know whether they would have been as tough as metres as the ones that, uh, you know, Hofstra. Craig, what sort of goals do you see yourself over the run hard now in the finals, like as far as position on the table? Or? Uh, we don't, Steve, you know, though I try not to look at, you know, I'm obviously aware of where we are on the table, but um, I, I don't really want to look where other teams are at, at the moment and just wait till Origin finishes and then we'll have a look at that. But, yeah, that's that's usually our mentality anyway, whether it be Origin or not. At the end of the day, um, you know, we've got to make sure we perform well. Or, you know, if we do that, well, the table looks after itself. And um, But, uh, you know, we, we need to, um, you know, buck, buckle up. You know, we've got three, three away games in a row now and... Uh, you know, the last two will burn away. So we're basically playing five of these six games away from home. So uh, you know, that's going to take a, a lot of effort and it's going to take a, a fair bit of planning by the staff and we've got, got to make sure we get that right and, and give the players every chance. Thank you. All the best to uh, Russ too, mate. Oh, it's that's last, right. Last yeah. press conference. Yeah. Is it last? Oh, sorry, Russ. Yeah. Good luck, mate. Well done, Russ. Well, you got a new, new job, He's the boss, mate. Yeah. He's the boss now. He's